The Italian government's cabinet meeting to decide on 2019 budget targets may not take place today as planned due to, quote, new complications in reaching an agreement on the deficit. That is at least according to the newspaper Corriere della Sera. Without saying where they got that information, joining us now with some analysis from Rome is Bloomberg's European government editor, Ben Sills. Ben, good to have you with us. Bring us up to date then. Will this meeting take place? What's the latest? Well, the, the latest that we're hearing is that some of the more junior officials uh, in the administration are going to be meeting today to try and kind of thrash out the outstanding issues over the over the over the budget deficit for next year, and they're hoping to to reach a, a kind of uh, outline agreement that they can then take to the cabinet later on in the day. Um, that said, the the, the 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 gap between the two sides seems pretty wide at the moment. Um, the league has joined Five Star in calling for a 2.4 percent deficit for next year. Year, while the finance minister has been pretty clear that he doesn't want anything beyond beyond two percent yeah and for the markets it's the future of the finance minister that's interesting as well we've seen rumor and counter rumor about about whether he stays yeah, I mean, he's he's very much a, a kind of establishment figure who who is um, uh, uh, been placed in this government to try and act as a kind of restraining uh, influence on on the populists who who, who won the election. Um, the finance ministry this morning has been denying the reports that he threatened to resign um, over the over this latest spat, um, but he's certainly coming under an awful lot of pressure this morning. Okay, and we are seeing, uh, as, as you mentioned that, so we are seeing that uh, BTP over Bund spreads uh, blowing out just a little bit this morning on the back of that news flow. And, of course, Italian equity markets underperform. Ben, thank you very much. Ben Sills, Bloomberg's European government editor, joining us there from Rome.